So this data totally contradicts the modern paradigm of evolution. If we look at the geological features that we find out there, where you have all of these flat layers, one on top of the other, now standard geology would have all of these layers representing the surface of the earth at some time or another. But if that were the case, it should have been subject to erosion and there should have been valleys and rifts, etc., where rivers had cut into the rocks. But these layers are absolutely flat. And the only solution to that is that there are rapid deposits that took place under catastrophic conditions similar as you would find in, for example, the flood. And not only the geological features, the age, the fossils. The fossils appear all at the same time. And it has stunned scientists. And I went through this process myself when I was an evolutionist. I started off as a gradualist, slow evolution over time. But I had to change my mind to punctuated equilibrium because you rapidly advance from one category to another without any intermediaries. And how is it possible that whole groups of creatures, which we call phyla, huge categories like mollusks, for example, which would include every single snail on the planet, every single marine mollusk, even creatures such as squids and octopus. I mean, this is a vast variety within one phylum that the various phylums, phyla, would appear simultaneously. This is mind-boggling. This should take millions and millions and millions of years of slow accumulation of genetic material to achieve. But here they are, all at the same time. So this data totally contradicts the modern paradigm of evolution. And we need to have the capacity or the ability or the possibility of bringing this information to people so that they can make informed choices. If the environment in which we work does not permit it, then you have to step outside of the environment.